Hi guys and welcome to your PlayStation 3 guide and how to upgrade your PlayStation 3 system whether it's a HDD or an SSD etc. So the only things you're going to need is your console, your hard drive or SSD etc. and a simple USB slash flash drive. Alright so those are the items you are required. Now let's start with the console. So first thing you got to do is you are going to flip over the console like so. And as you can see at the bottom of the console slash on the front, you will see a little flap. And what you need to do is you just need to simply flip that up. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get a screwdriver and unscrew that screw. And as you can see, once the screw is taken out, just put it to the side so you don't lose it because you are definitely going to need that and if you want to make precautions you can simply put the clip back on just so you don't snap it off accidentally and then the next thing you want to do is lift up your console or for the sake of this video I am doing that myself and then what you want to do is you will see a little flap here on the front of the console and what we're going to do is we are going to just simply push over this little clip here that goes all the way around your console and what we're going to do is we're just going to lightly push it you'll hear a nice little snip like a little click and then you can just simply take that off and then you can put that to the side and just flip it up and then we're going to put it towards us and I'm going to load the console down so I don't mess anything up and then what we're going to do we're going to put it forward Nice and gently. And as you can see, my console right now is 120 gigs. And I want more storage. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take off these four screws in each individual corner. And then once all four screws have been taken out, you want to take out the hard drive. So we're going to put that hard drive out the way because we can use that for other things in the future. And then this is going to be our new hard drive slash SSD we're putting inside. And as you can see, I have a one terabyte upgrade. And then you're going to pop it back exactly the same way you took out the previous hard drive. And you want to kind of pull it into a slant as well. And then make sure it's nice and snug. And you also want to make sure the magnets are on the magnetic side. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put the screws back in all four corners. I have skipped the video just so you guys don't have to be bored with that again. <laughs> and then we're going to turn over the case here and then pop it back in exactly how we took it out. Don't force anything in, just push it all in nice and gently. Take your time. And then once you know that it's all snugged and pushed all the way in, we're going to push that clip back down. And then what we're going to do is we are going to put this front clip back on. going to pop this back open there we go and then you remember that blue screw from before we're going to pick that back up and then we're going to put this back inside and then all that is now secure nicely fit nice and snug and then what we're going to do next is we are now going to go to the USB side of things. So let's go over to my PC and we will continue. Okay, so on to the next part of the video here. As you can see, we are currently on update 4.91 as of 2.27.24. Now what we're going to do is we are going to go down here a little bit. And we're going to go to this section right here where it says how to install PS3 system software. We're going to click on this box here. We are going to then download this file and then once this file has downloaded there's going to be a couple of things we need to do on the USB stick. Okay so what we're going to do is we are going to find our USB stick. Usually it's in this PC or my PC depending on what system slash PC you are running. Now you're going to want to know a few things before we start is let's go ahead and go to format. Make sure nothing is on the USB drive because it will format everything. 
Now we are going to want to make sure that the drive is on a FAT32, which is going to be that one right there. And then we are going to click start, confirm, wait, okay, close. Now we can open up the USB drive. So now we have got access to our flash drive. We are now going to do a couple of things. We are going to make a few folders. These need to be in all the capital letters. We are going to make folder one, which is going to be PS3. We are going to go inside that folder and then call it update. And then do you remember that download file we just did a few moments ago? Well, we're going to want to drag that and put that inside this folder too. Now, depending on your uh, PC or whatnot, you are most likely going to have it in your downloads folder, which is right there. But it depends if you have your browser to save to other folders, etc. But it should go there. And then once that is complete, we can then simply turn the USB drive up. Moving on to the console now, put the controller in via the cable. You're also going to want to make sure you put the USB flash drive in the other port on the PlayStation 3. And you're going to want to hold the select and start buttons at the same time for about 5 to 10 seconds. It will then try to look for the uh, format. And then what you want to do is press the select and start button for 5 seconds again. It's going to try and find where the file is. And now what it's going to do, it's going to simply just format the hard drive, SSD, SSHD, depending on what you have. Then simply press the PlayStation button. And then this is just the terms of agreement, just simply accept to get all this stuff out of the way. Press the X button to continue. I'm also going to go ahead and skip this video ahead. And then it will restart once everything is finished. Um, and this will be basically as when you open your console for the very first time. Select your country, your inputs. I do apologize for the quality right now. I am recording this via my phone. And as you can kind of see, my PlayStation 3 cable is in the way of my recording. And then if we go over to the settings, go to the system settings, go pretty much to the bottom. We are then going to go into the system information and as you can see there is the amount of space you have on your system. Thank you so much for watching, let me know in the comments section what you thought about it below. Check the links in the description and you can pick which platforms to follow me on. If you're new around here, how about subscribing and clicking the notification bell as I put out new videos every single day. I've been Victor the Dragon and I'll speak to you soon.